the scripture portion selected for today's meditation is taken from the book of acts chapter 18 verses 24 to 28 acts chapter 18 verses 24 to 28 the theme being women of faith here i would like to talk about priscilla and her role as a partner in ministry Priscilla and Aquila were a first century Christian missionary married couple described in the New Testament and traditionally listed among the 70 disciples. They lived, worked and traveled with the apostle Paul who described them as his fellow workers in Christ Jesus. They are described as providing a presence that strengthened their early Christian churches. Now when we talk about Priscilla as an individual and her role in God's kingdom I would like to highlight a few points. Firstly the society in which she lived. The Christian church beginning with Jesus had a radical view of the status of women. Jesus demonstrated that he valued women and men equally as being ma- made in the image of God. Luke clearly indicates Priscilla's agency and her independent relationship with her husband. She is certainly not Aquila's property as was customary in the society at that time, but rather his partner in ministry and marriage. Secondly, they were closely involved in the founding of the church in the Corinth. Priscilla and Aquila were tent makers as was Paul they had been among the jews expelled from rome and they ended up in corinth paul lived with them for about 18 months then the couple started out to accompany paul when he proceeded to syria but stopped at ephesus in 1 corinthians 4:15 paul included them in his greetings to their friends in corinth which implies that Priscilla and Aquila were also involved in the founding of that church. Thirdly, what I would like to highlight is Priscilla's role as a preacher or a teacher in early church history. Coupled with her husband, she was a celebrated missionary. In the Acts 18:24 to 28, Luke reports the couple explaining Jesus baptism to Apollos an important Jewish Christian evangelist in Ephesus Paul indicates that Apollos apostle Apollos is an apostle an eloquent speaker who had a thorough knowledge of the scripture he had been instructed in the way of the lord which he taught with great enthusiasm He began to preach boldly in synagogue. However, he knew only the baptism of John the Baptist, not the baptism taught by Jesus. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained the way of God to him more accurately. All this information is head knowledge gathered from the Bible. But when we try to to let the word read us what is the role or example showed by priscilla which the lord would want us to follow firstly in the role of a teacher or missionary we need to break the shackles or inhibitions which might be binding us as a woman bound by tradition when indeed we do feel led by the holy spirit to correct a misled preacher we need to go ahead and do so not openly in public but discreetly as priscilla did in apollo's case when in the role as a missionary we need to go ahead and be living witnesses wherever the lord has placed us in the world secondly what is noteworthy about priscilla is her hospitable nature We need to ask ourselves as ladies in our homes are we ready to inconvenience ourselves and sacrifice our comfort time and money when we have God's 
servants visit our homes we need to support these evangelists who are spreading his word finally priscilla has shown by example that she was a trend setter not only as a support or a partner in the ministry but also courageous enough to take up the challenge of bringing about a change in the traditional belief of a woman's role in god's kingdom are we as modern day women ready to be the change itself and take on the role of a preacher missionary teacher or even a hospitable homemaker shall we pray lord help each one of us to be a role model not to showcase our own talents for worldly acknowledgement but to be able to reflect christ in and through us for his honor and glory amen